hello everyone welcome back to my channel psychology network today's topic which we would be studying is the psychological thought in eastern system now this is part three of the series in the part one i have covered bhagavad gita and hinduism philosophy in the part two i have covered sufism the part three is about buddhism so first we will start with origin of buddhism this was founded by Siddhartha Gautam. He was born into the royal family of Sakya clan who used to rule Kapilavastu. But he saw that there is so much suffering in the world. People are hungry. People are poor. They are not able to get food at the right time. So he left his home and rejected his life of riches and embraced the life of a self-discipline. Embraced a life where he was following extreme self-discipline. So, after 49 days of consecutive meditation, Gautama attained Bodhi. Bodhi means enlightenment. So, uh, he gave his first sermon in the village of Sarnath near Banaras in UP. This event is known as Dharma Chakra Pravartana, which is turning the wheel of law. He died at the age of 80 in a town in UP. This event was known as Mahaparini Ban. Mahaparini Ban. So this was how it was origi originated and few few parts of Siddhartha Gautam's life. Now there are few tenets of Buddhism. He said what Buddha said that nobody has to follow extremes. Nobody has to completely indulge in worldly pleasure or completely practice strict abstinence. Somebody can take a middle path or the madhyam marg. Nobody has to practice extremes. They can take a middle uh, path to follow their life, which is called the madhyam marg. Now, he gave four noble truths or Arya Sachani. The four noble truths was suffering is the essence of the world. There is suffering in everybody's life and there is suffering in the world. Suffering or the dukkha. Every suffering has a cause. Samudaya. Whatever suffering is there in the world or in the lives of the people, there is a cause for it. But he also says that suffering could be extinguished. It is the niruddha. How can it be extinguished? It can be extinguished by uh, following the eightfold path. The eightfold path or astangika mark. What are the eightfold path? He said right view, right intention, right speech, right livelihood, right mindfulness, right effort and right concentration. You have to learn these eight names of the astangika mark. Remember this. Eightfold path is also called Astangika Marg. Now we have the concept of Nirvana. So Buddha says that according to the karma, a person will be born in the next life. But somebody who has reached Nirvana or Moksha in Hindu philosophy, Nirvana in Buddhism, they do not get to reborn. They do not get to reborn because they have uh, essentially broken the cycle of uh, birth and death. They are away from the samsara because they have enlightened themselves. So they, the people who have received nirvana will not get a rebirth on their death. Nirvana basically means who has attained uh, peace, who has attained enlightenment. Now, this peace is not like the worldly pleasures which we indulge in. Uh, it is to be beyond the worldly pleasures and pains. It is a state of serenity and passionless self-possession. The main two schools of Buddhism is Mahayana and Hinayana. The core difference in Mahayana and Hinayana is that Mahayana believes in the heavenliness of Buddha and idol worship of the Buddha. But Hinayana does not believe in idol worship. This is the core difference between the two schools. 
Next coming to the major Buddhist texts. The major Buddhist texts are Vinaya Pitaka, Sutta Pitaka and Abhidhamma Pitaka. Sutta Pitaka uh, has five divisions which is Digha Nikaya, uh, Majjhima Nikaya, Samyutta Nikaya, Angutara Nikaya and Khudaka Nikaya. Vinaya Pitaka consists of the rules and conducts and discipline, how a person would live, the rules. Uh, they are contained in Vinaya Pitaka. Pitaka. Sutta Pitaka consists of the main teachings or Dhamma of Buddha. Abhidhamma Pitaka is the philosophical analysis and systematic, uh, systematization of the teaching of and the, the scholarly activity of the monks. So this was all in main points and in a very crisp way about Buddhism. Uh, this has all the information which you need about Buddhism. I also have the PPT which contains all the sub parts of uh, psychological thought in Eastern system. It is it uh, that is one PDF which contains all the four sub parts together. If anybody wants, they can contact me via commenting or through the Google form which is there in the description below. Thank you so much for listening and. Please subscribe and like this channel so I can continue making free uh, content, free um, educational videos for everybody to listen. Thank you and have a great day.